What if he survived the shooting? Just what if? What if he survived the shooting? I'm hearing a lot of cliches going around for years and years on top of years. Oh, 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 Tupac was too loud to be quiet. Motherfucker, you're trying to kill me. If a motherfucker's trying to kill me, I got a big, I got a loud mouth. I got a big mouth. But if a motherfucker's trying to kill me, I'm going to shut the fuck up. What if he survived the shooting? What does this, this say? What does this change? I mean, people were saying like, well, his family said he was dead. His mom said he was dead. So he's dead. If my family, I'm assuming that like these are real, real Black Panthers. These motherfuckers are militant. Military minded. Why the fuck are they going to tell you some fucking stranger like, oh, yeah, he's alive. He's over here. You want me to show him to you? I mean, Asada Shakur is, is the perfect example. And people are sitting there and they're telling us like, oh, yeah, well, his family said that he's dead and he wouldn't be this quiet this long because he had a big mouth. And it's, it's like. The fuck are you talking about? These are Black Panthers. Who the fuck are you? These motherfuckers don't. You're the fucking enemy. For all they know. They're not going to fucking sit there and tell you, oh, he's he's a yes, he's alive. He's over here. And we're going to go show you show you show him to you. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? It doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right coming from certain people. It's like, who the, who the fuck are you talking about? Like, are you serious right now? Oh, his family said he's dead, so he's dead. Why the fuck are they going to tell you? If somebody's trying to kill me, like I said in my last video, Tupac had 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 cases in almost every state Tupac said that motherfuckers would bump into him and then sue him this motherfucker is 25 years old who the fuck wants to live like that who wants to go to every state every time you go outside you're going to court you're not going to have dinner you're not going to amusement parks you're not going to the zoo you're not going to sea world you're not doing any of that shit every time you fucking go outside you're going to court who the fuck wants to live like that nobody ask yourself damn if i had to go to court every day it would fucking drain you that shit would kill you. Like, no, I like I, today I got to go to court too. Yeah. And you got to go to court in a couple of hours after that. What? Don't nobody want to fucking live like that. That's why I said if he survived the shooting, he got the fuck out of Dodge and all this shit, this bullshit. Everybody talking about like he, he he's oh, he he's not quiet. He's loud. Somebody's trying to kill him. If somebody's trying to kill you and you got some real ass, dope ass family who's going to sit back and say, like, no, we got you. I'm pretty sure that's when, uh, 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 what uh, God damn it, I can't pronounce his name. What Tayimba. What Tay. What Tayimba came back in his life and said, Pac, what the fuck you going to do? You want to live or you want to die? Because it's not looking good for you right now. You got to get the fuck out of here. You got to leave this music shit alone. You 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 got to stop. I mean, you survived the first shooting. And you knew who did that shit. Now, we don't know who these motherfuckers are who, who shot at you this time. You got to get the fuck out of Dodge. Well, Tai Tayimba came back into his life and said, what the fuck you going to do? It, it, it didn't even come from his mama. His mama didn't say shit. He he was listening to to uh, what what Tai Taimba and probably Matulu. Matulu said, "Get the fuck out, leave." 
I don't know who these motherfuckers are. We don't know who these motherfuckers are. You went over to death row, and then these, and, and you fucked up. I told you not to go over here. I told you. Pac didn't want to listen. So now he got to get the fuck out of Dodge. If somebody's trying to kill you, what the fuck are you going to do? I mean, come on. like, like, like let, Let's stop playing dumb. Let's stop acting stupid. If a motherfucker's trying to kill you and you got a way and you got a way out, you're gonna you're gonna get out. You simple minded dumb motherfuckers are gonna sit there and get killed. That's what's gonna happen to you. Oh, they just shot at me. I'm I'm alive now and I'm gonna check myself out of the hospital. I'm patched up and everything. And then you're gonna get fucking killed. Because that's the way you think. Who the fuck wants to sit around and get and try to get killed? Everybody wants to live. No matter how much you fucking hate your fucking life. Everybody wants to live. Especially like if somebody's trying to kill you. I mean, you want to die of a natural death. You don't want to fucking die of the hands of some other stupid ass, sorry ass bastard. So stop it. Like, like I'm over that shit. I've been over that shit. Stop saying, oh, well, well, Tupac, he was, he was, he was, he was too loud to be quiet this long. He was, he, 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 he had a big mouth and he said it himself. But that's different when somebody's trying to fucking kill you. You're going to shut the fuck up. You're going to want people to believe that you're dead, that you're gone because they're not searching anymore. They're done. It's like he's dead. But if you sit back and you observe and you're like, oh, so these were the motherfuckers that were trying to take my life. And, and, and like, you know, that's a whole nother different type of like conversation when it comes to like who was really trying to take his life this time. I'm not saying that his family tried to take him out. Cause that could be a question too. Cause you have to think about that too. It's like, damn, did my family try to take me out? How did somebody get close to me like this? Like I said, if you merge RJ bond, if, if Tupac didn't survive that shooting, you merge RJ bond and John, Potash and you merge the motherfuckers together, there you got the answer. Because pretty much like RJ, R, RJ's theory is was Shug. Like they they were trying to take out Shug. Like they said, fuck this motherfucker. Like this, let's get him, and we don't give a fuck who does it. Let's get somebody trained. Let's get somebody skilled to take this motherfucker out. And then John Potash's, John Potash, excuse me. Those were the motherfuckers that took out Pac. They weren't playing. Like I said, two, two Pac shot two off duty police officers who were from the South. Green light automatically. And I'm, I'm saying if, if he did not survive the shooting, that's what happened. But if he survived the shooting, this creates a whole nother narrative, a whole nother narrative. And there's no getting away from it because it's like this motherfucker is sitting back and laughing at these motherfuckers. Like you motherfuckers thought y'all can get me and it didn't happen. Cause like I said, like you, Listen, listen to my, my, my last recording. And, and I said, like, these people said that Tupac was swollen up like a pumpkin and he was, he, he was discombobulated and he didn't look like himself. And all of a sudden he dies. And then there's this picture of him taken for an autopsy photo. And then he looks normal. All the swelling has gone down and everything and his tattoos and blah, 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 and all this other bullshit. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Like, layman's, I can't stand layman's. Layman's always go get pushed to the front. Peons. 
these motherfuckers that think that they, they, oh, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. I'm that and I'm this. And they don't know shit. And these people sit there and they feed off of it. You see this shit in the fucking world, in the streets, every fucking day. Everybody relate to peons and laymans. And these motherfuckers don't know shit about nothing. Because they have a certain status. Or they look this way, or they drive this car. Or they have these certain uh, uh, credentials and stuff like that. And people gravitate towards them. But they don't know shit. Because if you put them in the fucking hot seat, they ain't got a fucking answer for you. Stop listening to these fucking motherfuckers. So like I said, if he survived the shooting, if Tupac survived the shooting, what what the fuck does that say? <laughs> what does that say? Oh, well, he survived the shooting, but he's not talking. He's not saying he's alive. Why would he? Like I said, if his family is any fucking goddamn type of family, they would say like, yes, he's dead. He's dead. He's not coming back and he's dead. So leave it alone. That's what I would expect my family to do. If somebody's trying to kill me and I survive the second time. Oh, hell yeah. Like you motherfuckers better say that I'm dead. Because I don't know who these motherfuckers are and who's coming at me. I need to find out. So until then, I'm dead. And you you better fucking say it. Outlaws, y'all better say it. Moprim, you better say it. Tretch, you better say it. Shug, nigga, you better say it. Because I got hitters too, motherfucker. And they follow with the suit. That's just my theory on that. He got the fuck up out of there. He was like, no, like this shit is, this shit is getting, this is fucked up. Like, and I got to go to court. And I got to go to court next week. These motherfuckers try to shoot me and try to kill me. And I got to go to fucking court next month. And the month after that. And the month after that. And the next week after that. And the next day after that. I have to go to court. I don't want to fucking live like this. I can't live like this. I'm already a black man in America. And I have to go through this fucking lynching through the court system. I can't do this. I don't have the energy to keep up with this shit. I can't, I can't keep smiling in front of the camera. I can't keep doing this shit. I got to go. I got to get away from this shit. It's like I said, like if he, if he survived the shooting, that's what he did. If he's dead, he's dead. But shit just doesn't seem right because nobody can get their story straight. If somebody dies, well, like we already know how Malcolm X died. We already know how Martin Luther King died. We know how JFK died or whatever. Those stories were straightforward. We, we seen those photos. They're dead. We seen those. But Tupac's Machiavelli, those different, different type of photos that we saw. We didn't see like how we saw JFK and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. We didn't see those type of photos. You look at those photos like you're like, yes, that motherfucker is dead. We didn't see that shit with Pac. So it's like, stop, stop fucking with me. <laughs> stop playing around. It's like you can play around with the, you know, the reindeer games. You can play the little reindeer games and little card, the kindergarten games and shit. Like, yes, go ahead and, and do that with the motherfuckers. Like with me, like, nah, it's not happening. But like I said, like you merge RJ Bond and you merge John Potash's theories together and you're like, oh, fuck. God damn. But that's if he didn't survive the shooting. But if if he survived the shooting, then you gotta ask yourself. Or did you gotta you gotta ask yourself? You, gotta, you have to ask yourself. And that's the only way it's gonna work. 
sorry for the rant. Sorry for <laughs> bringing back up. Uh, I I don't give a fuck. So what? I, I'm not sorry for shit. 